This is my 1989 Ford 1920 uh, tractor. I just got it from a guy a couple days ago. Fairly cheap. A couple reasons. Number one, he was moving out of state and needed to sell it fast. But the second reason, the main reason, was the three-point lift. Um, whenever you put a heavy implement on it, it would bounce up and down. And they call that hiccuping. And what I determined is probably the piston seal in the flow control valve. And I'm going to try to replace that seal today. Hopefully it'll be a painless job. I probably just jinx myself. But uh, we're going to try to do that today and show you how it's done. Once uh, we come up closer to the tractor, this is the flow control valve here. It's underneath the seat typically. And if you loosen that, it allows the three-point lift to fall faster. If you tighten it, it'll allow it to um, fall in a, at a slower rate. Depending on what kind of implement you have will depend on what you want to set your flow control valve at. What we have to do is remove this seat, remove the pan under the seat. That'll give us access to the cylinder head assembly that contains the sleeve and the piston seal so we can get at it We'll go ahead and remove that and get going. Once you have the seat off, you have access to the flow control valve here and then the uh, cylinder head assembly. And what I'm gonna need to do is remove, there's a nut and bolts. What I'm gonna do is number those so that uh, I'm gonna start with this nut and then the rest are bolts going around one, two, three, four, five, six. And this would be number one. I'll go around and number those in case they're different lengths. I'll know which bolt goes into what spot. And before I loosen all the bolts, let me go ahead and put a rag below the cylinder head assembly. That way as some excess hydraulic fluid will most likely leak out. I'll have a rag to catch the rest of the fluid so I can clean it up easier. As you can see we have <coughs> the one nut then we have two longer bolts and three shorter bolts because the cylinder head has uh, thicker parts on the plate of it. So these longer bolts are going to go in The thicker parts of the cylinder head while the shorter bolts go in the the narrower part of the cylinder head Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the cylinder head and it's Coming off fairly easy Put the cylinder head and the sleeve and the piston should be in there I removed the cylinder head. There's an O-ring holding the cylinder head onto the sleeve. I went ahead and cleaned up the sleeve already. And I'll set this aside. And this is the sleeve. I'll set the sleeve aside. This is our piston. And as you can tell, the seal is in pretty bad shape. It's pretty, pretty dry. You can see some areas that have flaked off. So that seal is definitely our problem. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to pry the seal off, the old seal. Okay, kind of cut through it with a screwdriver. Shows you how brittle it was. And it's just falling apart. And that's our old seal. This is a little closer look of the seal. And as you can see where areas of it have flaked off. And remember this is a 30 year old tractor. So I went ahead and ordered the new seal and the new seal was not cheap it was about forty dollars it's the cheapest I could find it but I figure if I don't have to replace it for another 30 years it's worth it I'll go ahead and take the measurements off of the new seal so in case you want to make your own you can but uh, as far as I'm concerned I just pay the forty bucks and and uh, 
That way I know it's the exact right one. Cylinder head assembly. There are two more O-rings, one holding the uh, piston sleeve on and pull this out. And this O-ring looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, I went ahead and ordered a new one though. It was an extra six bucks. I thought fairly expensive, but again, if I don't have to replace it for another 30 years, it's worth it. Then there's a smaller O-ring right here that, again, looks like it's in pretty good shape kind of flattened out and I'm going to replace that from a kit that I already have. Okay so this is the new o-ring uh, that goes onto the cylinder head assembly. Uh, this is the part number right here and I'll go ahead and list the part number links at the bottom of the video. Go ahead and open this and uh, put it on the cylinder head. Before you put it on the cylinder head, just put a little bit of uh, hydraulic oil on it. It'll help get it over the top of the rim there. Okay. And then this is a little Vitten O-ring I had in a kit uh, that matched the other smaller O-ring. And uh, I'll just go ahead and put it in. Slot there. And that should be good to go. And this is the piston seal. This is the piston seal part number. Again, I'll put the uh, link at the bottom of the video. And after cleaning up the piston, the seal is going to go with the channel on the seal towards the head or the top of the piston according to the manual. So it'll be like this. And... Uh, what I'll do is I'll add a little grease to this piston seal so it'll help it slide over the top of the piston here. Okay, this is a picture of inside where the cylinder sleeve and the piston sit. And you can see the uh, piston push rod right there. And that's what uh, controls the piston when we uh, push or pull on the uh, position control lever. Okay, here I'm going to grease up the, the cylinder and the piston so that we can put the piston inside the sleeve here without the, without the uh, seal tearing and hopefully it'll slide in there relatively easy. By the way, as far as putting this piston seal on, I had to put the piston in a vise and then with two screwdrivers stretch the seal over the top of the piston along the side. Let's see how easy this is to slide into the sleeve here. All right, looks like a good fit. Now I'll put the sleeve inside the Okay, so I got all the bolts in. What I had to do is start, this wouldn't go in all the way, so I had to start with the longer bolts on the narrow slots and kind of um, systematically just tighten it till I could get all the bolts in. And then with a star pattern, I tightened this up. And then per the manual, um, I'm gonna tighten these um, bolts up to, uh, it says between 55 and 65 foot pounds, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up to 60 foot pounds. And uh, we'll do it in a star pattern here.
Okay, now all that's left is to put the seat back on and we'll try it out. This is our tractor put back together. Uh, the fix did work. The three-point lift does lift up and down and hold pressure well. I don't have an implement that's heavy enough to show you how well it works right now, but I will do that in a later video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Thank you. Have a good day.